Hi, this is Dr. Shri Devi. Welcomes you to the sixth topic, brominations of trans thalbine for undergraduate student level. In this topic, we will see how the trans thalbine is getting brominated by conventional method and also how we can brominate it using the Greener technique. A perfect chemical reaction would be the one that is very selective efficient and non-hazardous. Selective that means it should form the desired product only. Efficient means it should convert all the atoms of starting material and also reagents to the products. Non-hazardous should be safer to the chemist and also to the environment. Coming to the conventional technique of bromination of trans telbene, here the reaction is nothing but halogenation of carbon carbon double bond. The non green components of this technique are elemental bromine and chlorinated solvents because both are extremely hazardous. Coming to the technique of bromination, it is a halogenation reaction. Now let's see the detailed procedure for the bromination of trans stilbene using the conventional technique. In an Erlen male flask, take glacial acetic acid and trans stilbene, heat the flask in steam bath with occasional swelling until the solid is dissolved. You can also use the glass rod to stir if necessary. After dissolving, allow the solution to cool to the touch. Then add 1 molar elemental bromine in dichloromethane incrementally, adding a few ml at a time and swirling gently between each additions. The orange bromine color may persist faintly. Allow the flask to cool to the room temperature at which time the solid should form. Filter the product and wash it with ice cold methanol. This gives your trans bromo still being. Let's see the precautions that should take before proceeding for the conventional technique of the experiment. Bromine is strongly oxidizer so may cause the eye irritation and also skin burns as well as digestive and respiratory tract burns may be fatal if inhaled. It is corrosive to metal. Use sodium thiosulfate to neutralize the bromine spills. Secondly, the dichloromethane is irritating to eyes and skin. It may be harmful if inhaled or swallowed. The transtilbene causes eye and skin irritation and it is harmful if ingested or inhaled. Stilbene dry bromate is corrosive and also a lacrimator. It can cause irritation to skin and digestive tract if swallowed and also to the respiratory tract if inhaled. Glacial acetic acid can cause severe burns to the eyes, skin, digestive and respiratory tracts. Wear goggles or gloves when handling all these chemicals. Keep them in the hood when possible. Now let us see what is the greener procedure to synthesize trans bromostilbene. The chemicals required for this are trans stilbene, hydrogen bromide in water, hydrogen peroxide and ethanol. In this experiment, you will be reacting trans stilbene with bromine forming the addition product across the ethane double bond. trans is an interesting molecule for this reaction because it and its products can be evaluated stereochemistry simply by melting point determination. cis is highly sterically hindered and is therefore not nearly as stable as trans -tilbane. Reacting either of these compounds with bromine should produce 1,2 dibromo 1,2 diphenyl ethane. This product has four possible structures. Two of them are actually the same structures, they are mesostructures. 
and the other two contain two chiral centers which are optically active and mirror images of each other. If we see the mechanism of greener bromination reaction, here the reaction is greener because we are using ethanol which is more safer solvent and the bromine will be generated in C2 through the oxidation of HBr with hydrogen peroxide. Coming to the procedure of greener technique for the bromination of tramstilbene. Tramstilbene in ethanol was reflexed and the aqueous solution of HBr that is nothing but hydrogen bromide and hydrogen peroxide were added from a dropping funnel subsequently to the reflexing solution of stilbene. The colorless solution becomes deep red in color within 15 minutes. The orange color disappears. This indicates the bromination of stilbene and the solution is allowed to cool down and during this the precipitates comes out due to the bromination of stilbene which is to be filtered, dried and checked for melting point and yield. Let's see alternative procedure for the bromination of trans stilbene. For this, the chemicals required are trans stilbene, glacial acetic acid, sodium bromide and sodium bromate. Coming to the procedure, take trans stilbene in glacial acetic acid and add a mixture of sodium bromide and sodium bromate at the room temperature with stirring with a glass rod. The reaction mixture was then stirred occasionally with a glass rod for about one hour. The developed brown color disappears and the acetic acid in the reaction mixture was then neutralized by sodium hydroxide solution. The precipitate of stilbene dibromide separates out, filter the product, dry it, check the melting point and percentage yield. Coming to the green context, corrosive liquid bromine is avoided, atom efficient and water is the only byproducts in HBr H2O2 method and in NaBr NaBrO3 method sodium acetate is formed along with water. In HBr H2O2 mixture and in bromide bromate couple offer in situ oxidation of bromide to molecular bromine. Caution Be careful and care must be taken while handling the solution of hydrogen bromide and hydrogen peroxide. Now let's see what is the mechanism of bromination. The phi electrons form bond to the partial positive bromine atom at first to form bromonium ion intermediate. The partial negative bromine atom forms bond to the carbon on opposite side of bromonium ion to result in the trans addition product that is nothing but 1,2 dibromo 1,2 diphenyl ethane. The nucleophilic double bond undergoes an electrophilic addition reaction by bromine reagent which proceeds via cyclic bromonium ion. The addition of bromine begins at one side of the double bond and is followed by the attack of bromide ion on the bromonium ion. The result is trans dibromide as shown in the equation below. Thank you for your patient listening about bromination of trans stilbene by greener technique.